The basic navigation within the shell, now that you've learned a little bit of how to open it up and take a look around, uh, let's say you need to navigate to a folder in particular. Uh, by default, when you open it up on the Mac, and your terminal might look a little different depending on the program that you're using, it's going to look something like this. And if you're not sure where you're starting, uh, the most friendly uh, command you can use is PWD for Print Working Directory. When you evaluate that, it'll tell you where you live in the current folder tree. So right now I'm living in my Users Elizabeth folder, which is the equivalent of this folder. And that's sort of invisible to me right now. I can't really see what I'll... I'm used to seeing this uh, sort of GUI interface where I see all of my lovely files and IPython notebooks. And to see those in this view, in the command line, I use ls. And when I do that, it's going to give a whole huge list of things inside this folder. Uh, and I've been told by my coworker or my instructor, like, you need to find the tree demo folder. So, ls, and then I can start ty just type the letter t and hit tab. And hit a tab again, and I'm just going to show I see, oh, tree demo with a slash, and that shows me that there's a folder. So now I see the folder, and I kind of see it up here too. Tree demo as well. Now, in this view of the regular ls view, it's not entirely clear what's a folder and what's a file. So ls might dash f, so the dash f being uh, an argument given to ls. When you evaluate that, all of a sudden, everything that's a folder is going to have that slash there on the end, and you can tell oh, tree demo is not only here, but it is indeed a folder. Now that I know it's a folder, I can navigate into it. So to navigate into something or to change directories, you use this magic keyword called CD for change directory. Since I type in CD in a space, I can then type in the folder that I actually want to go into. So tree demo, see, tree underscore demo. I don't need to include that backslash, but if I did, it would be benign. So it sort of silently changes things. It's not entirely clear that I've actually clicked into this folder. And we're used to double clicking and all of a sudden we've like the whole window has changed and we see these new files. It's I can see that something in here has changed. But it's not entirely clear. And so I just want to do PWD again to check where I am and I see that it's changed. I'm now no longer just in my user folder. I am now in the tree demo folder within my user folder. So now I want to see what's inside a tree demo. ls-f again. And I can see these folders here, and these files here, are showing up in this list in my view right now. And I'm at time.